come on and play it spin. Yes. <laughs> When you have performed at the London Palladium, ah. my dear, it changes you. It's something that you possibly would never understand. A forsooth, Chris. Oh. So last night, Dominic and I played the London Palladium. Yeah, baby. And I went, I've got an idea. Why don't you come on at the end of my show as a variety act? <laughs> I was going to go and see that film, The Creator. And I put in audio cinema, The Creator. And instead of giving me the cinema times, it said, the creator of audio <laughs> cinema was Oscar Deutsch. And so I said, why don't you come on and call yourself Oscar and Deutsch, the plate spinners? So to finish the show tonight, <laughs> How are you feeling about it? Oh, don't worry about it. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a split. I'll be honest with you. I am over the moon excited. <laughs> because then I can say, at, you know, to my ch children, grandchildren, yeah. whatever, I play the London Palladium. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I feel played. slightly differently because I can say to my grandchildren, I died on stage at the London <laughs> Palladium because of this Egypt here. <laughs> I've got it. Oh. No, we're not putting it on. You put it on his chin. He's oh. put it. All right, no. Strictly speaking, you're headlining the London <laughs> No, yeah, well. Yeah. So. The more those plates hit the floor, <laughs> the better. The better because it's, it builds the tension, doesn't I, it? I don't. I can't agree with you. Oscar Hendricks! <laughs> Dom and I officially smashed it. What fun, what larks we had. Fair play. You actually did it. You did it. We did we spun it. plates. Oh, yeah. We did. And after a couple of couple of attempts on my part. Yeah, that's all right. I I spun a plate and it and the plate spun. It did. I went round and round and round and didn't fall off. It'll take them some time. Don't worry. We're here on the map. And then I got my stick out. Yeah, you did. Trans, two trans two six transferred your plate onto my plate. Yeah. To everyone's amazement, including mine more than anyone else's. I then handed Ross Noble a stick and a plate, and everybody went woo. And he went to spin it, and he dropped it, and then he gave it a second go. That's it. And maybe the adrenaline of it all, because mm. he tried it in our studio yesterday and was rubbish. I'm just saying, right? This is how you get it spinning. You start with it like that. Yeah. Right? Somebody on, said this on you... the lip, right? Yeah. And then you spin it like that. Oh, the light in my eyes. Right. Get it like that, and then it, and then it goes. Oh, do you know and then you yeah, drop it, it as well. No, yeah, but, but look, you've got, you know. on his second attempt, held the held the stick up with the spinning plate on, tipped his head back, rested the stick on his chin, let go of it, balanced it on his chin. Yeah. The audience went wild. Ross thought, "There's the comedy exit from this roundabout." Absolutely. And when. We all took our bows. We did. Some of us longer than others. And then... <laughs> you stayed on stage? Yeah. I thought it'd be funny if I stayed on stage yeah. waving to the crowd after the guy whose gig it was had already left. That's it. Yeah. He came He came to pull you off, didn't he? He did. Ross Noble pulled me off on, a, on the London Palladium last night. It's oh. also worth saying Ross Noble, the actual show, is very, very, very good. Oh, my Lord. So funny. Definitely one... 100% mm. get a couple of tickets and go and have a fun night. Radio X.